In this lecture, we are going to learn how we can convert this model to a type that is compatible with Android Studio. And we'll be using the TensorFlow Lite converter to do that. So join me back in our Colab project. Make sure that you recently have run all of your cells with runtime run all, because if you want to run a new code cell using previous variables, you have to make sure that the cell has been run. If you leave the page and come back, you have to rerun the cells. And that is because the variables get reset if you leave or refresh the page. Okay, so here we are going to save our model because once we have trained the model, it has a graph inside of it. And this graph is represented in code. So whenever you train a model, it takes the container with all the layers. And as the training occurs, the model becomes a specific set of equations. And we can save that set of equations for use later. So that way we can use a trained model in different projects. So we can take this model that we've trained on Google Colab and we can use it somewhere else like in Android Studio. So to save the model, we'll use TensorFlow's Keras library, go into the models sublibrary and call the function save model. We want to save our model variable and let's save it to a name called model.pbtxt. That is the extension that will be provided by the save model function. Now, if we want to actually use this model in Android Studio, we have to convert it to a TensorFlow Lite converter object. So we can create a TensorFlow Lite model object using the TensorFlow Lite converter. So I'm going to instantiate a converter by grabbing tensorflow.lite.tflite converter and using the function from Kara's model, passing in our model variable as the argument. So the function will take the model in the pbtxt file, which is a Kara's model, and it will convert it. And then we can grab our results. So Next, we have to grab our TensorFlow Lite model object. So I'm going to create a variable called model underscore TensorFlow Lite. And to do that, we take the converter and call the convert function. Okay, so first we have to instantiate this converter with from Kara's model. Then we actually have to call convert. So don't, don't forget that step. And finally, we can save the model to a TensorFlow Lite file. So I'm going to call the open function and let's give our model a name. We'll call it the linear regression model.tflite. So notice we have a different extension now. And we are going to write the model TensorFlow Lite file. So we are taking the TensorFlow Lite file with all of its equations and writing it from this model TensorFlow Lite. Okay, so then I'm going to run this code cell. And here we are going to grab this TensorFlow Lite file. So if you go into your files now, you can actually see this TensorFlow Lite file will appear. Just click on this folder on the left hand side, and that will open up the files of the current project. So we have model.pbtxt. You can see a Keras model consists of assets, variables, metadata, and the saved model. We also have sample data that just comes from Google Colab. And then we have a linear regression model.tflight. So this is the model that we are going to use in our Android Studio app because this is a TensorFlow Lite model, which means that TensorFlow Lite has processed the model specifically for mobile. We're going to click, hover over the model and then click on those three dots on the right hand side and then select download. That is going to allow you to save the model to your computer. So you want to save linear regression model.tflight, which is a tflight file from Blob. You can press save file and it will be in your downloads. And now we're ready to use that file in an Android Studio project or whatever kind of mobile project because TensorFlow Lite, it supports 
iOS, it supports Android, you can build with Xcode, Android Studio, Flutter, and more. Pledge to our Kickstarter, the Complete 22 Web Development and Machine Learning Bundle, which also has a lot of app development content. And it is live now, link in description.